Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do part one of my Paint Some Way haul. This is going to be the cross stitch related portion and part two will be a ton of like specialty diamond paintings and regular diamond paintings. But today I think it is cross stitch's turn to have a video. I don't know exactly how many products I have here, but you will see as we go. I will do the cross stitches first in case you just want to see the kits reviews, and then I will do the supplies and tools last. That way no one has to sit there just to look at supplies if they don't want to. And with that being said, I want to mention real quick, everything will be linked in the description box below if it is still available. And there will also be links to budget-friendly stores as well as some of my discount codes that they have so kindly provided me to share with you all. Okay, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Okie Well, the first kit, I'm just going to start off with this DIY. If I can find a photo of this, I will put it on screen. This is just a beautiful little ocean girl. You all know I love my girl kits, especially ones with fish and stuff like that. I thought she was beautiful and uh, being very forthcoming. The website did not say this was DIY, but... I am not totally sure how I feel about that and I will explain why in just a moment. This beautiful little lady only cost me $8.99. There's nothing on the back side here and this is very thin and flimsy even in terms of like printer paper. Printer paper is thicker than this so I'm not really sure how cheap this brand is. Uh, I am going to move this out of the way actually just so I'm not knocking it around. Kind of a mess. Hold on. Let's move these out the way. Okay, I do not feel a toolkit anywhere. So, one of the things about DIY is how teensy tiny their patterns are. And it is on the tear-proof paper though, so I'll give them that because I believe some of my DIY patterns are on uh, just regular paper. There is only 25 colors, and you can see down the side they show you what that DMC should be looking like just to kind of help you check that you have all the colors you need. There's a bunch of red symbols in here, but I don't really think any of these are so similar that I would get confused with them. Yeah, no, they're all fairly different, so there should be no issue there. And this printing of this pattern will match the canvas. So since there's really nothing here and it doesn't appear that they included any instructions, I'm actually just going to review the canvas. We know the pattern's small but I feel like my explanation only works with using a big enough area to show you what I mean. So this is kind of a firm, older feeling fabric. There is no surging, but there is a salvage edge here. It is 50 by 40 centimeters or 129 by 173 stitches. All right. So we all know how many people feel about DIY kits, but I just wanted to tell you why I'm not sure if I am going to hate this one or not. So usually what I do is look at the image provided, typically on the website because the color of this is kind of faded, and I like to look at certain spots with details like this, because DIY in the past has made this all solid white, or is what the rendering would do. Down here that would make sense, and then it would just kind of like melt shaded areas like the neck into the hair so you couldn't really tell the difference. But I'm gonna show you exactly why I have hope for this kit. Because look, 
right up in there, you can see that they picked up that detail and then they did it as here with the confetti, which is really strange because normally it would just be massive color blocking like this. I mean, right here is really the only noticeably different area because you can see here it's all just filled in and then there's that little bit right there, which is this. So what it's lacking is the curves and stuff right up in there and the hair, like the detail. So it didn't quite pick it up over here, but I'm noticing over here, you can see not everything is melting together. Um, sadly, it looks like the jawline does a little bit and it looks like the corals. So there's a coral right here, which you can see here. Then the orange coral which you can see here but then there's a coral right down here and then you can see her neckline and that is where it melts together so the quality is not going to be super great but this is honestly one of the best renderings i've seen from diy and i don't think this will matter too much because you know there's there's a lot of similar contrasts in this image so I do kind of want to do this and see how it turns out and maybe show you guys. I can't really, hold on. The symbols are all clearly printed in their own squares and very easy to tell apart. And I also have a little bit of more hope because the face is very clear and defined. So, Again, I really just want to try this and show you guys and see how it turns out. So maybe I can just do like this section right here and see how it turns out and I can update you guys on that. I don't mind starting that tonight either because I'm really curious. I've also never worked on one of my DIY kits before. We have 25 colors and really quick before I forget. There's no toolkit, but they did shove two needles in the canvas, so do be careful when you open kits like the Mona Lisa ones or um, DIYs. Alright, with the 25 colors, let's look at colors 1 through 16. And these are very beautiful colors. And then 17 through 25. So very much similar colors, very cute. I adore these colors. And before I forget, there's also two of 962 on the side. And let me see what number that is. 962 is number 15. That's right here. I'm assuming that means that they didn't think it would all fit, but they still included it. And also DIY seems to be like the notorious kit makers that include so much white or B5200. And I'm really happy that this is the only extra I'm seeing because I don't like the way they package their extra white that they tend to put on the side. But I think this one is going to come out decent, not the best, but I think for a DIY, this is pretty good, at least by their standards. And I'm realizing I can't fold it that way, it gets quartered. Alright, so this is my first kit. She's super cute. I'm a little sad she is DIY, but I still want to go ahead and try this and update you later. These next two I wanted to show you side by side before individually. I bought these two because a while ago I thought I purchased what were diamond paintings that were kind of space dinosaur themed. And I was going to do them for my son and put them next to his bed, but when they arrived they were just unframed posters. Blech. 
So instead, I saw these on Paint Some Paint Someway's website, and I immediately grabbed them. I just snagged them right up because they're cute. They're dinosaur silhouettes. So I did purchase these with the intention of putting them together because it says they're both 40 by 40, but we'll see about that. This is the first one I'm gonna go over. As I said, it is 40 by 40. It is also 11 account, and I know I didn't mention it, but um, the DIY kits are 11 count as well. Since it is 40 by 40, 11 count, it is 148 by 848 stitches, but don't multiply those because this is a partial, which is nice because for once they don't include like numbering for filling out the corners. They actually just leave it blank. So this is a true round partial, not one where I'd be like, oh, now I have all this extra white I don't need. And this kit, I will put a photo on screen now. This cute little dino costs $6.99. And it says the brand is Yishu. Let me move this aside. And there is something I want to point out about each of these once I get to the second one. Instructions are printed on the pattern. It is again on tear proof paper. Let me just fold that image behind so I can fit this up here for you. And see, it's a true partial. And this pattern is nice and big, very clear. You can very clearly see the silhouette and the details in the background. And it's not too con heavy, not too confetti heavy in the parts where there does need to be detail. I believe. Let me click the photo and look really close because the photo looks hand charted. That's interesting. Okay, so this is not hand charted. And the outline right here kind of gives that away. Right here. If this were hand charted, they wouldn't have several different colors making the outline. It just would have been all of this yellow right to the edge because it is a silhouette. So this is not hand charted and that is a little bit unexpected for me because this is the sample photo which I'm sure I just showed you and you can very clearly see it's already charted. So it looks like they used a photo of a chart for a cross stitch and just ran it through an AI application. But I still have hope for this. I don't think it's gonna really affect it that much. It's just gonna add a little bit more variation of color in the background. And we do have 30 colors, which I'm sure is way more than what was in that original image. And the symbols all look fairly nice. They do tend to put a lot of red and orange symbols in there, but you can see down here that the red and the orange are very different. And they don't have red and orange of the same symbols. Oh, except for circles. There's a red and an orange circle. But other than that, I think we're okay to go. And, you know, clean printing, really nice. All right, let me fold this back up. Our little dino buddy. Very nice canvas. It feels nice, not super stiff, not too thin. Very clearly printed. Look how crisp it is over here. And it is surged. All your information is up here as well, so you can match your threads to your paper pattern and your canvas. And everybody looks to be in their own square and very clearly printed. This one's bright and bold. Not the brightest saturation, which is good because I have a fear about reds when I go to wash my kits out. 
and they do have the color blocking numbers which just makes it easier so I don't have to go look at my legend. Really quick, these both do come with your standard kit, your adjustable thimble, a pom-pom holding your needles safely together, and a needle threader. All right, if you know, you know, Yishu likes to give us floss drops. And it looks like they're sticking to the theme of the new ones, getting rubber bands on them, which is very convenient and nice. Here is the 310 for the silhouette. Looks like quite a few of those, three, four, five of them. That's a really nice shade as well. I like that. So just lots of blues, pinks, and purples in this kit. Definitely more colors than I would assume. But very nice nonetheless. And I like floss drops, but if you don't, you might want to stay to the end of the video to see another thing I did. I do have some rings to put these on. I'll snip the gray off and then loop these on a flashcard ring holder. But I only have so many of those and I don't really get to travel outside of my house much and I don't like ordering rings because I like online I'd rather get them in person. So I did order some tools online that I already knew how they would be. But these are all the colors and I think they match the photo. At least the digitally rendered one, not the printed one. So super cute. So I'm gonna put the floss away, but I'm going to keep the canvas out for now. All right, let's put these aside. I'm gonna keep the canvas out. All right, as expected, the other kit. Let's go over the paper pattern first for anything else. Here's the second one, photo on screen now. This one costs $6.99. So the same price as the first one. Also 11 count, 40 by 40. And this is also by Yishu. Instructions printed, but they are kind of small. And then our paper pattern. Maybe I should have cut the paper pattern out because this seems different too. All right, so same company, but this is the paper pattern for the second one. And this is it for the first one. And remember, these are the same price. So the paper pattern is smaller. That's one difference which is weird, same price, same manufacturer. Still 11 count. This one only has 27 colors. And the printing here is kind of faded. Symbols all look fine. Nothing that looks like it would be too similar to tell from any of the others. Printing, though not super saturated, is still very clear. And I love the way this moon is looking. <laughs> they even got his tongue in the rendering. I was worried about them maybe accidentally, you know, rendering that out. Right. Okay, the canvas. And I noticed this before even opening these. This looks 
very faded. It feels stiff and scratchy, not at all like any of the other current Yishu kits I've been getting in the past few months because I do prefer them, so I tend to pick their kits more often. And this just ain't it. This does not scream the quality that I was hoping for. Like, if anything, if I'm gonna get this quality, I at least wanna pay less than I did for the good one, you know? But yeah, super scratchy. So it looks a little dusty. Maybe it's over starched, printed on old fabric, it seems. I don't know if maybe they swapped back or another theory I had is maybe these weren't washing out properly, which has me a little bit worried because I did sample a spot on what I'm working on and it came up fine. And I'm assuming these were both printed recently but maybe just doing it this way makes it wash more easily. But like the color difference. So I'm not sure. Hopefully they look similar when they're washed because again, I bought these to put these on a wall side by side and I'm not feeling too hopeful about them matching the way I was hoping. And then this isn't as crisp and clear to read either. It's still surged though. And they look faded, but you can you can kind of see them. Some of them kind of look different. Like some of these circles to me look like filled in green squares because, you know, I'm not wearing glasses. But I also want to check the size really quick. So this one looks old and a little sad. And this one does not. So they're almost the same. It looks like the dustier one has a little bit more extra fabric on the side. Let me... I just want to see if... So even though these are meant to be the same, it looks like if you line it up, there's three stitches less on the good one. And remember, these are supposed to be the same size. Well, you know, I'm not too concerned. It's still super cute. Again, with the floss drops, with the rubber band. Lots of oranges and blues here. And then the 310 for the silhouette. So it looks like there's more oranges in here, but as I'm not currently staring at the rendered version, I believe there was more orange back here, but you would have seen by now, so you'll know. But regardless, I still believe there's more colors in here than the original charting for this image. And that is it in terms of the cross stitch kits I have to show with you today. If that's all you wanted to see, thank you for even watching this far. And let's get into the supplies I purchased. Okay, these came on different lists. I think they came on different listings. Maybe not. Let me check. Nope, these came on the same listing. All right, I got two sets of these little ones for when I do my smaller counted cross stitches. These cost $2.99 a set. I may have already taken a film off of the front. I believe I have. I do know these all come with films. I believe I've taken it off. This first one is just kind of this cute little strawberry desserts theme. And it goes up to 40 colors. So 20 and 40. So cute. And 
the other one. I believe I've taken the film off this one too. This one's a little more pastel. I don't have nails. So this one's just kind of like a very faint purple with some beach shells and starfish and whatnot. I thought this was also really cute and gentle. You can see that's not staining or dirt. That is burning from when the lasers cut the holes out. And I've noticed that on like the edges of like those diamond painting projects that you can put on a stand where, you know, the shape was clearly cut out through like plastic or wood. I know a lot of people think that it's like staining or dirt. I promise you it's not. It's just discoloration from the machine etching out the design. And it looks like that was the case here as well. All right. So these are the two sets I got for this. And keep in mind they are tiny, which is why I got these for my 18 count counted cross stitches. The next thing I got are these larger ones. I also have a pink one, but I'm currently using it with one of my large AliExpress cross stitches. So I can't really show it to you. Here's kind of what it looks like with the pink. It's like a bubblegum pink, like my desk here. A little bit darker though. These ones go up to 34 colors and as you can see here they do have a larger hole and I bought these for the floss drop kits or um, to have around just in case one of my floss cards because sometimes your floss cards they break so I thought I'd buy these to use just in case and it is double sided two two so it doesn't matter which way you have it or put your floss on, which I absolutely love. And these were $2.99 each, and I got two of them, green and pink, because, you know, favorite colors. The final one, I have reviewed these before. I was using these, and excuse my language, I've been using one of these on my penis counted cross stitch. It's a penis with a bunch of flowers around it. I got the pattern off Etsy. Don't judge me. It's still beautiful. Don't shame what God gave you, so to speak. <laughs> um, I had this set. I still have this second one, but I got up to use the restroom. I got up out of my bed to use the restroom one night when I was working on that counted cross stitch. And I guess one of my pillows fell down because I prop them up behind my back so I can sit up in bed when I don't feel well. And when I came back in my bedroom and I was crawling into my bed, I heard a snap and a crunch. And I snapped it in half and it made me so sad because I absolutely love Winnie the Pooh. And so I just went ahead and purchased this again. And this one does go up higher significantly higher. This set goes up to 72 colors. And they're just so cute. I love them. I love the needle pool. And these cost $5.99 for the pair. And let me see what the whole size is comparable to. Let's get them all together. So it looks like it's the same size, if not slightly smaller than this one. But I also use this on 14 and 18 count counted kits that I kit up myself. And I just think it's so adorable. Well, that was my cross stitch portion of my haul from Paint Some Way. I hope you guys enjoyed it or saw something you liked. Let me know if you want me to try this out for you. I mean, I still will probably start it because I'm curious myself. Well, thank you for watching. I'm really excited to get the dinosaurs going and I'm really happy to have replaced my favorites. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Give the video a like to help me out and subscribe if you made it this far because hopefully that means we can be friends. 
All right, I'll see you in the next portion of this video with some diamond painting if you're into that. And if not, you can just keep an eye out and hit the bell and see when I post my next cross stitch video. All right, you guys have an amazing day. Bye bye.